This tutorial will help you with mini programs in VB 2010 assignment number two. Create program that uses a picture box as a button. You do not need to add a button to the form. The picture box will bring up a label that tells the user something. So go to Visual Basic, as usual, New Project, Windows Forms, Application, click on OK. So right away, we will add a picture box to the form. Picture box is in the toolbox. I will call it pick button. I'm going to make it a button. The text is just going to be blank. I'm going to put a picture in. So you go to image. When you have this picture box selected, click on the ellipsis to bring up the dialog box. I'm going to import the computer image that I used for the assignment one. You can get a new image if you wish. So local resource import, select the image from wherever you saved it when you did a Google image search or if it was just a picture that you had saved. Click on OK. And again, just as we did for the first one, right now, if we adjust the size, the whole picture doesn't move with it. So I would like to change the size mode to stretch image, so it allows us to change the size of the image. I'm going to make it a little smaller and move it up, and I'm going to put a label beneath because the assignment said that it will say something when the picture is clicked. So I'll change the text to blank right now. And I'll call it LBL message. There's a couple different ways you could do this program. You can actually type the message in now and make the label invisible and then make it visible later. Or you could make the text appear in the code editor window. So I'm just going to rename the form to form message. And I'm going to, for the text, I'm going to say click the image to display a message. I'm also going to resize my form. There we go. Okay, so double click on your picture. Now, as soon as you double click on the picture, it actually becomes like a button. So I'm going to write LBL message because that was the name of the label dot text so I'm adjusting the text of the label to thanks for clicking on the image that is the message I'm going to display to the user so as soon as the button which actually is a picture box is clicked this message will appear in the label let's try it out and see if it works start debugging click on the image and there's our label saying thanks for clicking on the image. That's it for tutorial number, or for the mini programs number two.